Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about shocking moments when celebrity interviews take a turn for the worst and go completely wrong. But before we get into it, don't forget to like and subscribe for more celebrity content just like this. With that said, let's get on with the video. When actress and model Cara Delevingne was doing a press release for her new movie, Paper Towns, she went on a good morning talk show to talk about it. And the interview was so bad. Because of Kara's lack of energy while answering questions, the host got very upset and began making fun of Kara the entire interview until they let her go, just because she didn't want to respond to their sarcastic comments. And you seemed a lot more excited about it than you do right now. Are you just exhausted? Oh, uh, no, I mean, I'm still very excited. I'm, you know, the premiere was last night, it was an emotional it was an emotional night. It felt like the end of an era. You do seem a bit, a bit irritated. Perhaps it's just us. No, no, I think it's just you. I think it probably is us. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then on that note, we figured as much. We figured as much. It's a good movie. That's so funny. Let's tune in and see what you. Oh, Ooh, with the bars. Wow. She yeah. was in a mood. Nicki Minaj did a rare interview on Joe Budden's podcast, and things didn't quite go well. When Nikki began defending herself about the lies Joe Budden spread about her, one of his co-hosts defended him, which ruined the interview and forced the rapper to go into a long rant about people lying about her. I think that you are... Jealous of you. A big baby. I think you never liked people, and I think whenever somebody calls you out on your shit, you have a temper tantrum. We've seen you have so many temper tantrums, Joe, and it's not, and it's the truth. And people put up with your shit because... Once you put something out there, that conversation now starts in different areas. This is my Especially if people respect your opinion. Yes, right. and it takes on a life of its own, and then it keeps on being repeated and repeated. And if I don't defend myself, then he's right. If I do defend myself, I'm the angry black woman. Mm. My issue with the heat. Black girl tragic. My and it's black bitches that do do it the most. And I don't give a fuck if y'all mad at me using that fucking Nick, hashtag. That's offensive. Taylor Swift's interview with Entertainment Tonight during the Grammys went horribly wrong when the interviewer asked her who she was going home with. Wow. Swift was stunned at the rude question, but still answered, though it was clear that Taylor's mood had already changed. I just wanted to show the legs, because as I was telling you ahead of time, you're going to walk home with more than maybe just a trophy tonight. I think lots of men. I'm not going to walk home with any men tonight. I'm going to I'm going to go hang out with my friends and then I go home to the cats. No men allowed. Men get me in trouble. I don't I got to no. tell you Nancy, trouble with a capital T, right? Yes. Last time I hung out with Taylor we were talking about when Dakota Johnson went on the Ellen DeGeneres show, she was happy to be there. However, the interview started terribly when Ellen called out Dakota for not inviting her to her birthday party, only for the actress to blast her for the lie. After that embarrassing moment, the interview went on in a rather tense atmosphere. You turned 30. I did. And um, how was the party? I wasn't invited. Actually, no, that's not the truth, Ellen. You were invited. Last year, no, last time I was on the show, last year, you gave me a bunch of about not inviting you, but I didn't even know you wanted to be invited, so. This time you invited me? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. How do you know? I don't think so. Ask everybody. Ask Jonathan, your producer. Who okay. said you were? I yeah, was invited? Right Why didn't I go? I don't know. Dakota Johnson will forever be remembered for her role in Fifty Shades of Grey, and one interviewer at the Oscars made sure to remind her. Dakota was walking the red carpet with her mother, Melanie Griffith, when a reporter insisted to ask her mom if she'd seen her daughter in the sexy film, which ruined the entire interview from then on. Anastasia in Fifty Shades of Grey has done so well at the box office. Yeah. Feels like everybody has seen it. Have you? No. No. Maybe. Mm -hmm. You don't want to see it? Maybe one day. I don't think I can. Yeah. I, I think it would be strange. No, I don't think so. I think it's fine. I think that one day I, you can see it. Yeah. yeah. All right. You don't have to see it. <laughs> I'm like, you can see it. And you're just like, no. <laughs> because she doesn't want, you know. I mean, there yeah. is that. that right Ariana Grande went on Power 109 FM to promote her new music, only to meet some very sexist radio hosts. When one of them asked the singer which she would live without, her phone or makeup, it ruined the mood of the interview and it caused a mad Ariana to go into a rant educating the men that women's lives are about more than just makeup and phones. 
makeup or your phone. Is this what you think time. girls have t- trouble choosing? <laughs> yeah, I, absolutely. Is this, is, this you, yes. is this men assuming that that's what girls would have to choose yes. between? Now, this is not a question. Uh, How long ooh. can you go without looking at Twitter? Many hours. Hours. Many hours. I don't believe it. Absolutely. No. I have to do it and I have to use it in, in doses. I, I you, love my, you my, sanit- my oh, sane time. She is a winner. <laughs> I can go many it. hours too with my, without my cell phone while I'm sleeping. Yeah, yeah you got it. During one of her Dark Knight Rises interviews for her role as Catwoman in the films, Anne Hathaway had an awkward interview. The interview began going terribly wrong after the reporter began asking Anne a lot of questions about her body and it made her a little uncomfortable, but she did maintain her composure. Well, you're always in great shape, but you had to make sure you were in perfect shape for this one, didn't you? It wasn't about being in perfect shape, it was about being able to do the stunts and the fighting perfectly. Is, is there a certain regimen you put yourself through in terms of the diet, the workout? It's, it's, it's all the boring stuff that no one ever wants to do. It's just watch what you eat and get yourself to the gym. Any particular workout? Are you trying to lose weight? Well, like, what's what's the deal, man? You look great. No, no, no. I, no, no, seriously. That, we well, have to talk you. about this. What what do you want? Are you trying to fit into a cat suit? While Leslie Mann and Dakota Johnson were doing a press release for their movie, How to Be Single, one of the interviewers asked a really strange question. And it kind of went a bit weird. One of the reporters asked how to be single, however one of their interviews went terribly wrong after they saw how hot the reporter was. Leslie and Dakota completely forgot about their new movie and focused on getting the reporter to go shirtless. Yeah, Are you, you single? I am single. You're handsome. Wow, oh, thank you. <laughs> Tell me more. You're, you have cute socks. You look like Barbie. you have really big muscles. Barbie! You yeah, look like you work out. You look like you pump no, I just wear yeah. really small clothes. You get swolled up. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Swole patrol. Just, I, I just wear small clothes, so it looks like... Are you Google? Because you're exactly what I've been searching for. That's terrible. Don't ever say yeah, that. Yeah, don't ever do that. I mean, is there... Is What's there another? Do you have another one? Uh, yes. I don't have a library card, but can I check you out? <laughs> <laughs> there? That okay. Kind of All bad. right. Yeah. It worked. It that worked. one might work. I'm getting them. When Anne Hathaway went on the Good Morning talk show, she spoke with Matt Lauer, and his inappropriate questions quickly ruined the interview. Matt brought up a revealing photo of Anne that had been leaked by paparazzi, and instead of being cautious about the incident, he asked her what she had learned. Wardrobe malfunction Mm. the other night. What's the lesson learned from something like that, other than that you keep smiling, which you always do? I was very sad that we live in an age when someone takes a picture of another person in a vulnerable moment and rather than delete it and do the decent thing, sells it. She is someone who is forced to sell sex to benefit her child because she has nothing and there's no social safety net and I, yeah, so, um... Jonah Hill is a beloved comedian in Hollywood, though sometimes reporters make fun of him, which ends up ruining the interviews. When one reporter asked Hill if he still is considered the fat guy in Hollywood, he seemed shocked at the rude comment and slammed the reporter for his dumb question. But are you still considered the fat guy when you go to a party or anything? Because I run into that a whole lot. I'm, I'm the fat one. So does that, does, are you the fat guy in Hollywood still? Or, or is everybody like look at you and they're like, oh wow, you know, this is great, now you're healthy. Uh, do you have any other questions that are smart? I have a question because you're in Atlanta and... When Robert Downey Jr. went on the Jimmy Kimmel Live show, he had a very uncomfortable interview with the host. After Jimmy made an inappropriate comment about Robert checking his pants backstage, things quickly went downhill. This is Etro. It's what? Etro, E-T-R-O. That's the name of the brand? That's right. Okay. It's like retro, but without the R. You've never heard of Etro. No, I've never. What are you supporting tonight, Jimmy? I don't know. Uh, Did you get a little revved up seeing me young? I got a little bit. I got a little charged what up. What is this about you and I in your pants? What, are you coming on to me? <laughs> I just got here. I, yeah, I usually wait for the second that, segment. Is that what you want? I'm sorry, I'm back. I'm back. Yeah, it's you're your back. Show. When Kanye West went on Sway Radio's talk show to discuss his new music and career, the host didn't expect him to go into one of his lengthy rants. When Sway tried to guide Kanye, he went off and began shouting at the host, which made the interview one of the worst morning interviews. I am Shakespeare in the flesh, Walt Disney, Nike, Google. Now who's going to be the Medici family and stand up and let me create more? Or do you want to marginalize me till I'm out of my moment?
to go. You ain't got the answers, man. You ain't got the answers. You ain't got the answers. You ain't got the answers, Sway. Kanye. I've been doing this more than you. Doing what? You ain't got. Calm down. You don't have the answers though. Calm down. Because you're trying to give me advice about no, something. No, 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 you ain't, no. you ain't got the answers. You ain't spent $13 million of your own money trying to empower right. yourself. Yep. A terrible Kanye moment brings us to the end of today's videos. Which one stood out to you the most? Well, share it with us down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more celebrity videos just like this. We'll see you in the next one.